What's up my friends? Let me show you what uh, what I got last week. We picked up a bunch of uh, banana plants and a few other ones too. A few other trees. So here we have uh, some Gros Michel bananas. DB, what was this one? Uh, Dwarf Brazilian. A couple of uh, truly tinies over there. What are these? I don't know, I forgot. A bunch of ice creams. Uh, some Pisang pis pis Ceylon. A couple of gold fingers. And what is that over there? RP uh, Rajapuri. And a few uh, larger uh, rhinos. These are plantains. African rhino horn. And this big guy over here is an ice cream bean, which is great uh, nitrogen fixture. And we got a couple of uh, low quad trees over here. And these are uh, a local variety, I think a Florida variety, uh, called Ed's Delight. So I need to uh, get ready and plant these. Hopefully plant most of these uh, today and tomorrow, this weekend. It's Saturday today. So I'm uh, I'm trying to uh, make some space for them. Not that I don't have, I, I have plenty of space. Because I have five acres and uh, pretty loosely planted right now. I'm barely using maybe one acre, one and a half. Anyways, I've been mowing for the past two weeks. I still have a lot to go. I mowed uh, in the front here on the other side of the ditch. But um, but now I started to mow. I gotta fix these guava trees. They keep tipping over. Oh, there's another guava. Little yellow one. So what I want to do, I want to spread them out. I already started to plant some bananas and guavas on the other side there. But I need to uh, to plant some more, make some more rows all the way up and down the land and plant them with bananas and whatever I got. Got to fill out uh, the whole land. Because otherwise... I'm gonna lose my agricultural classification. So I gotta show each year, I gotta show progress on the farm. I gotta show that I put in a reasonable uh, effort to make the farm, uh, how do I say it? It has to look kind of commercial, you know, they wanna see rows and rows of uh, trees and whatnot. First year they came out, they said, oh, we didn't see any rows. Uh, because I planted first, I started to plant my bananas in circles because it's easier to fertilize them. And you know, that's a pretty standard practice in organic and permaculture growing. But Texman came out and he said, Oh, I just saw some circles, I didn't see any rows. So now I gotta plant them in rows. <laughs> so I started to mow up and down the land over here. What I want to do is uh, put in. You see, I have these uh, these ditches running up and down the land. I have uh, one, two, three, four of them. So I want to plant a row on each uh, each side of the ditches, and then uh, another row in uh, in the middle. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna <clears throat> start mowing on uh, basically like a four or five feet wide lane. Uh, clear it out and then uh, plant those bananas there. You see these are uh, guava trees. So yeah I'm gonna plant bananas in between uh, the guavas too. So yeah up and down here on the other side of the ditch too. I'm gonna make another row and then I'm gonna make another row next to my neighbor's fence over there. And one here, one down the middle and all the way to the back. So, I want to mow the whole place, obviously, because I have to mow it. 
I would love to, uh, you know, just let it do whatever and overgrow. But I'm kind of not allowed, you know, because they say you have to keep the place. Uh, how do you say it? Agricultural, uh, whatever practices, the standard agricultural practices. So you gotta you gotta mow them, mow the land, and plant in rows. And basically, they they want the place to look like a, like an average farm. You know, I was trying to explain to them that this is. Uh, this is gonna be a, a, a polyculture, permaculture style uh, food for us, but they have no idea, and uh, they just just go like, I, I don't know, I don't know what that is, you know. Gotta make it look like a farm, planting rows, blah blah blah, mow. So I got them mow anyways because. You know, it's hard to get around with the truck. I have to bring in lots of mulch and manure and all kinds of stuff. And I have to dig and plant and... So the first few years I have to mow regardless, but... Eventually I uh, want to let it over... Let it overgrow, just like over here, you see? What was that? Maybe a snake. You see this little patch over here? This is a sweet potato patch. I planted it from uh, you know, something's chewing the leaves, slugs or something. See the pretty flower here. So eventually, you know, I wanna wanna let ground covers like sweet potatoes and other ground covers overgrow. You know, take over. I'll, I'll compete the grass, but first, first I wanna mulch the whole land. You know, like this. I want to cover the whole land in uh, two feet of mulch. Because the problem is, stuff is not going to grow too well in, uh, in this grassy, uh, sandy soil. Anyways, that's the... That's the priority for, for now, to mow as much as I can, clean up the place, make it look nice, plant a, plant a bunch of uh, bananas all, uh, all, uh, all across the property. Just like here you see this, uh, this row over here. We planted these with, uh, with Jason Kvested when he was here a month or so ago. You see all the way down, straight row, straight line, this is what they want to see. On the other side I have a bunch of stuff planted over there too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break up uh, all, all my banana circles, I'm gonna break them up. And spread them out. I'm gonna leave uh, the larger ones over there. Leave the large ones, but... Yeah. The, the ones that are easy to move, like 5 feet tall. Those I'm gonna take out. And replant somewhere else. Oh, it's so hard to mow this uh, this grass. I forgot how you call it, but this is a really tough, tough grass. It just chokes the chokes the mower. But I'll get it done. I mowed the whole place last October a year ago with the same little push mower. So, you know, I have practice. Yeah, but I gotta get, get these guys in the ground as soon as possible. I'm watering them every day, but uh, they keep tipping over, so that's why I let them laying down. I, I need to get them in the ground as soon as possible. They are in one gallon p uh, pots, otherwise I would have to pot them in, uh, in three gallons. So, uh... Yeah, that's uh, that's the number one uh, priority to plant the bananas and uh, and mow the place. Oh, you got a visitor. <laughs> 